experience the beauty of this state that we all call home. We have all traveled throughout Illinois, and we've reached destinations to go to. Illinois is full of hidden travel dress destinations that prove you don't have to travel far from home to have a fun vacation. On our tour through Illinois, we will take a look at some of the best hidden gems in Illinois um, that Illinois has to offer, including history destinations, art, nature, and cuisine. So Emma, what hidden gem are we going to visit first? We are headed to Jacksonville, Illinois. Jacksonville is a charming small town 25 miles west of Springfield. It is an unexpected treasure trove of art and culture. Let's start by walking through downtown and looking at the wall dog murals. According to an article from myjournalcourier.com entitled Ready for a Facelift, Wall Dogs Return to Restore Murals, which I accessed December 5, 2019, Judy Tai, Executive Director of Jacksonville Main Street, explains that these murals have aided in Jacksonville's tourism as people come from all over the country to see these murals every year. The murals were painted by professional artists from different countries like Australia and Ireland, other states, and just local members of the community who wanted to participate. Then maybe we can walk around the corner and window shop at some of the eclectic small businesses and antique shops that line Main Street. During the summer, you can even see small pop-up shops on the street selling homemade treats or goods like this one. After that, we can visit one of the many local museums and art galleries. According to jacksonville.org, which I accessed December 6, 2019, the Schwann Art Gallery features monthly changing art exhibits and permanent collections, which include these displays of early Mississippi Native American pottery. Then to finish our visit, let's take a ride on the historic Big Eli Ferris Wheel, a 100-year-old fully operational wheel that sits in the middle of downtown for no apparent reason. Uh, then, uh, now that we've looked at some amazing man-made works of art, let's go look at some natural beauty. Where are we going to next, Anna? I'm gonna take you all to Shawnee National Forest. It's just them in Southern Illinois. Are we there yet? We're just getting there. Here, we've arrived. According to enjoyillinois.com, access on December 5th of 2019, the Shawnee National Forest has approximately 286,000 acres between the Ohio and the Mississippi rivers. And unlike the rest of Illinois, which is pretty flat, it's actually pretty rocky here. And that is because of the scouring effect of glaciation. It's stuck just north of the forest. And while you're there, you can go rock climbing, hiking, fishing, um, cave exploring. You can go horseback riding and camping, lodging, and you can go boating. And there's even a wine trail where there's a path between multiple wineries in the area. There's something for everyone to do. That was exhausting hiking around Illinois' amazing landscapes. I don't know about you guys, but I worked up an appetite. Food? Food, oh my god. Our next stop is Burgoff in Chicago on Adams Street. Let's get out of the car here and walk right on in. All right. Open for over 100 years, Burgoff continues to offer guests classic German cuisine, such as Wiener Schnitzel, Bratwurst, and Bavarian pretzels, alongside German Gothic decor, a friendly warm environment, Burghoff is the perfect place to visit during Oktoberfest. But it didn't start out like this. According to Burghoff.com, accessed on December 8, 2019, Herman Burghoff opened the, his brewery in 1898 and sold steins of beer that came with a free sandwich. But once prohibition uh, hit, he was forced to sell near beer, which is non-alcoholic, very boring. <laughs> and food. Surprisingly, his food brought him more success than his beer ever did, and eventually became the success of his establishment. Looks delicious. <sighs> I had way too many pretzels. Can we please go somewhere to work off these calories? How about a walk around the historic landmark? Just, just three hours away 
away from Elgin lies a city full of historical significance, and it just happens to be our state capital. Oh look, here we are, Springfield, Illinois. Our 16th president, Abraham Lincoln, owned his first home here. And I'm going to take you guys on a tour of it. And better yet, it's free to get in. The house wasn't always this big. According to Abraham Lincoln Online, which I accessed on December 5th of this year, it was originally a ranch home, which the Lincolns had to build into a two-story home to accommodate for their growing family. And according to the U.S. National Park Service website I accessed on December 5th, 2019, constructed in 1839 and beautifully restored to its 1860 appearance, the 12-room Creek Revival House was Abraham and Mary Lincoln's home for 17 years. Let's go inside. Wow, look at this sitting room. The vibrant wallpaper really makes this room pop. It's unusual to see wallpaper like this or wallpaper in general in homes today. Let's go see the kitchen. Wow, check out that old stove. I bet Mary Lincoln made her famous white almond cake on that thing. Have you guys ever had it? No. No. Speaking of Mary, let's go upstairs and try to find her bedroom. I actually did my eighth grade pod history fair project on Mary Lincoln and learned that she spent a lot of time here because she used to get really bad headaches and mood swings. It's so cool to see what I learned back then brought to life. I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting pretty tired. What do you say? Want to look at one last room before we go? Mm -hmm. I say we find the back parlor. According to Abraham Lincoln online, the back parlor is where Abraham received his delegation of party officials right after he won the presidential nomination. Oh, there it is. 